Why do you have the radio and the TV on at the same time? I like the party. Hi guys, welcome to Off the Tenth. My name is Chris and today, yes I do like to party, but today we are going to look at a stout that also likes to party. This beer was actually done by Average Joe a while back. Actually, I just rewatched that review to see his take on this one and I will link that somewhere above me to that review if you guys want to check out what Joe from the Beer Patrol did for this beer. But anyway, without any further ado, this is what we're doing today. Yes, guys, today from Thin Man Brewing and Pressure Drop, this collaboration beer is called Dog Birthday Party. It's, it's a graham cracker stout that's coming in at 5.5% alcohol. It's a one pint can or a 473 milliliter can. Um, the pictures of the dogs on here are pretty funny. One of them smiling, the other one's looking at the other dog going, what the fuck is going on? Um, yeah, so this is what we're doing today. We are doing dog birthday party. Like I said, uh, Joe did this one a while back. And uh, again, I, I rewatched that review to see what he's saying. I'm just trying to rip off the, the price tag there. Um, but anyway, uh, according to the commercial description on this one, it's supposed to be a graham cracker stout. Okay. Uh, it's got to have cinnamon, uh, some vanilla and chocolate in it and yeah that's pretty much what they're what they're telling us uh this is again a collaboration between a thin man brewing and pressure drop which would be the first ones that i've done with these guys but uh yeah honestly the time uh this was yeah this is a pretty old can i've been sitting on this one for a while this one was uh, uh september 20th 2018 so yeah, it's been a while. September, October, November, December, January, February. Yeah, five and a half months. But I'm cool with that. But uh, anyway, you know what? Let's crack this baby open. Let's see what we got in the can here. All right. Now, I'm going to probably sound a lot like Joe on this one because I already know that this one, it's got a lot of carbonation in this one. And as I poured it, it actually looked and sounded like I was pouring coca-cola or some kind of coke product um yeah and I just swirled and made a fucking mess on the bucket bar but um anyway what are we looking at here we are looking at a it looks probably black on on camera but it's not it's really a dark brown uh and it's really thin and watery the head is pretty much gone on this one but uh yeah that's what we're looking at um i gotta stop saying um i think i might start doing jump cuts in my videos because i just can't fill in with nothing but ums and ahs and uh and anyway let's take a smell okay on the smell i'm getting chocolate on the smell no doubt about it. Vanilla and, and cinnamon. I'm picking up a little bit of the cinnamon, but not very much vanilla at all on the smell. Other than that, it smells like a stout. It smells like a regular generic stout. And it's super watery. As I'm like holding this in my hand, I'm just like, wow, this is... Uh... And it's pretty effervescent too. So it's thin and effervescent. Anyway, let's take a sip of this. Mm -hmm. Alright, I can see where Joe is coming from on this one. Bubbles like crazy on this one. This one is, is the... the I don't know, carbon dioxide angels dancing on my tongue. It's pretty effervescent. There is a Coca-Cola like feel to this one. It's like I'm drinking a can of pop right now. Um, Mouthfeel, like I said, okay, it's five and a half percent. It's not super thick and all that stuff. And yes, Paul, it is way too thin. Uh, this is probably the thinnest stout I've probably ever had, uh, to be honest with you. 
yeah, so I'm, you know, a better mouthfeel would be better. But um, let's talk about the taste <clears throat> that I get from this beer. Chocolate, yes, there's tons of it in here. They've done very well. Uh, the vanilla, maybe a little bit, a little bit more cinnamon for me on the taste on this one than I got on the smell. But the main thing, which is beer is actually advertising on its can, is that it's supposed to be a graham cracker stout. Joe didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it up at all. It's probably because it's bullshit. I wish there was a graham cracker in this one because it would be delicious. It would be almost a pastry style stout, but there is no graham cracker. I should go check on tapped, see what all, everyone else is saying on this one because I guarantee there's gonna be people out there that are gonna be like, ah, oh, there's tons of graham cracker. No, there's not. Hate to burst your bubble. But yeah, it's like, it's okay. It's it's like, you know, it, it's drinkable, but it's not doing what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a graham cracker stout. And this is really starting to bother me now. And I really wish the mouthfeel was better. Will it physics? Will it but I wish it was. You guys hear that? Uh, it doesn't matter. I wish it was just another way of this coming off with a better mouthfeel. Who knows if there was another way? Oh, I got an idea. <laughs> Here we go. Will it physics? Will it physics? Will it physics? I don't know, Joe. Will it physics? We're going to find out right now. Here's my physics machine from Waytap. I got a video. I'll link it or I might even put it above my head right now where I actually uh, did a little bit of a review on the actual weight uh, physics by from Waytap. And we are going to take this half can of dog birthday party and put it inside the physics and see if this one will make the mouth feel better. Oh God, I hope so. Hope I didn't waste my fucking money. I'm just kidding. I know this thing's awesome. So let's see what we got here. We are going to pour, excuse me, the, the, the dog birthday party. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, we got normal bubbles. Uh, let's put that nitro head on there. And let's pour a little, bit, a little bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, we have sonicated the beer. This is what it looks like. Come on, focus in. There you go. Coming out of the way tap. And no, hasn't changed the smell, but the whole thing about this thing is it's going to change the mouthfeel. So let's take a look. Look at that. Look at the sonication. Looks like Guinness now, doesn't it? Take a sip. Guess what? It just changed the beer. Didn't change the taste. I still got tons of chocolate, a little bit of that vanilla, a little bit of that cinnamon. No graham cracker because the fucking beer says it has graham cracker and it doesn't. But however, I fixed the mouthfeel on this one. This head is now sticking around because of the sonication hashtag. And look at it now. It's still sticking around and it's creamy and it's got a better mouthfeel for this beer. Mmm. Oh, we're empty. Oh, no, we're not. Yeah, now we're empty. So there we go. That half a can of beer. I just saved this beer that I'm pointing out over there, which is not even over there. It's actually in here. I gave it a better mouthfeel. In my own opinion, will I buy this beer again? Probably not. But thank God I had this physics to save this beer from being drain poured. Because now I can enjoy this with a nice body and mouthfeel. Wow, I'm going to do this a lot more when beers are coming off way too thin. Anyway, guys, I'm done with my own opinion on this beer, Dog Party, from Thin Man and Pressure Drop. In my own opinion, guys, you don't have to waste your time with it. It's not what it says it is. It's not a graham cracker stout. It is a regular, regular sessionable stout that's super thin. 
and if you guys have a way tap physics machine you can get it put it in you'll have fun with it you're gonna have a way better mouthfeel than the actual way it was done before and look at this this head is still sticking around like it's still there that's what this thing does but anyway enough praising this thing i fuck i gotta use this thing more often anyway guys i'm done with the video drop a comment down below if you've had this beer you know what uh, let me know if you guys are going to try it if you do tell me what you thought of it uh, other than that like the video subscribe hit that notification bell which is probably going to be on either side of me somewhere that subscribe button and we're done peace out homies bye